The clone stamp tool, the healing brush tool, the patch tool, and the spot healing brush tool can be used to either repair or replace a selected area of an image. In this module, we'll be practicing removing dust from an old photo. To follow along, open data file removingdust.psd. When you're ready, find the zoom tool in the tools panel and click on it. Click on the image in order to zoom in. If you've zoomed in too much, go to the options bar and click on the zoom out icon. Then click on the image to zoom out. Now let's get started on removing the dust from the background of the image. In the tools panel, right click on the healing brush tool. Then select the spot healing brush tool. You want to change the diameter of the circle to match the size of the area needing repair. So click on the brush arrow located on the options bar and then drag the diameter slider to the right in order to increase it and then to the left in order to decrease it. But in our situation, we're going to drag it over to the right in order to increase it. After you've chosen your desired diameter, all you have to do is go back to the canvas and start clicking on the dust on the image and it'll just start disappearing. Sometimes you might have to click on the same area twice. And if you want to change the brush size while you're working, you don't have to continually go back to the options bar. You can actually click on the left bracket key on your keyboard in order to decrease the brush size. And you can also click on the right bracket key in order to increase the brush size. Now, in order to remove a white spot like the one on the subject shoulder, we want to use a different tool. And the one that we're going to use is the clone stamp tool, which is located in the tools panel as well. After you find the clone stamp tool in the tools panel, go ahead and click on it. And again, we want to change the diameter and the hardness. We want the diameter to be around 36 to 40 pixels and the hardness down to 0%. First, hold down the Alt key, click adjacent to the dust on the shoulder in order to sample an area without any dust in it. Click on the dust particle once to watch it disappear. You might have to repeat this 